Hey guys, today I kind of want to talk to you about my top five favorite baits for the fall time, that summer to fall transition for largemouth and both smallmouth bass. So let me get into it real quick. I just stuck a giant, so I'm going to share that video when I talk about the bait I called on. So stay tuned for that. My first bait of choice for smallmouth to start out with is going to be a little uh, popper here. It's a uh, about a three and a half inch, four inch popper. I mean, the smallmouth in the fall school up and school up on bait. They get really active in the colder water. It's extremely fun to throw uh, top water for smallmouth. So, I mean, they crush it very, very well when the water's about 72 to 65, and that's perfect smallmouth weather right there. So, my first bait is a little uh, BPS pop bar. My second bait of choice for smallmouth bass is a jig, but it's not a normal jig like with the with the crawl legs and the skirt, and you know you flip it. This is a uh, really light finesse hair jig. Real small hook, real small head, and a real small tail. Goes for a great smallmouth presentation, little crawfish, or even a goby if you fish in any of the Great Lakes or on the St. Lawrence River. But this is a great little bait for smallmouth. I mean, you could even swim this. I've caught fish swimming this thing. I've caught fish hopping like a regular traditional jig, and I've caught fish just dragging it like a tooth. So, this is number two for smallmouth bass. Little hair jig. Third bait is a uh, little jerk bait. Now, this is a uh, Rapallo. Shadow up, brand new on the market. I bought it, ran it this spring, and I caught a bunch of two and threes. Well, probably the most I've ever caught on jerk bait on this uh, this spring. So, I mean, this is one of my favorite. It imitates the fish and the bait very well in here that that the fish feed on, and um, I mean, it has this real, real good finish on the top, which makes it shine. What I like to do with smallmouth in the creeks that I, that I have here is I uh, I work a little bit more aggressive because them smallmouth in the springs are real aggressive in these creeks, especially the big ones. So, moving on to number four. So my fourth bait for smallmouth, sticking to the finesse, I have a couple finesse, couple uh, moving baits, like the poppers and jerk bait, and I'm gonna have to stick with a uh, little shaky head. This is a watermelon black flake shaky head, quarter ounce. A great bait to throw in the holes that you have. The smallmouth will sit in and just wait for, for food to go over the top. They'll just ambush it, you know. But uh, this, this gets a lot of big bites. This is number four, let me move on to the last one. So the last bit of choice, actually, I have tied on right now, so I'm going to show you that in the video right now. Stay down. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I have troubles. I don't want to... Holy moly. That's a four-pounder. First cast. If you guys know anything about that bait, this is the River to Sea Whopper Plopper. This happened literally 15 minutes ago. I caught a giant on the Whopper Plopper. My new new favorite fall bait for largemouth and smallmouth, but I mean, this bait caught me a giant just now. So, I mean, this is a little, this is the size 90, which means it's 90, 90 millimeter. They come in the 130, a little bit bigger, and they come in a 60 or something. But yeah, I just stuck a giant. The hooks are real sharp, but I mean, when they school up, this imitates a little bait fish on the surface real good. So this is my top five baits for smallmouth bass. So let's move on to largemouth. So moving on to largemouth, my first my first bait for largemouth, I'm gonna have to choose. I like to fish a lot of deeper lakes, and this half ounce imitates bait fish really well. Shad, especially. There's a lot of shad around here. If you haven't realized, they talk about shad a lot. Half ounce lets you, lets you get down the depth where the bait fish are schooling and where the bass are feeding on the schooling bait fish. Double uh, silver willow blades, the bigger sizes. Got the trailer hook on there, of course. So that's number one for largemouth. Stick with top water for number two for largemouth bass. I'm gonna have to pick a uh, Gizzard Shad Pattern Spook. I mean, obviously, the Spook is a lot of people's favorite bait, so that's number two. Number three, this kind of um, sticks with more of a pond side, more than a lake side. This is a light-headed one, but you can also use a heavy-headed one. But this is more of a ball pond bait I like to throw. This is a little swim jig. You know, the sexy shad pattern it matches real good, as you see there. I mean, I'll throw this on the banks and I'll throw this out the middle if they're schooling out there like they were. They were schooling in ponds this spring, and I was catching them on flukes and this. But I'll throw this on the edge of uh, ponds on their banks, parallel the banks, and I do pretty well on swim jigs. So let's move on to the next one. The next bait is going to have to be a um, little crankbait. It's 1.5 and it gives a shad pattern. You can throw this around rock and no stage around rock. If you're doing a video in the winter months, it's my favorite baits in the winter. But 
a lot of people's favorite bait in the fall is a little square bill like this. Just pretty self-explanatory. I shouldn't have to explain this that much. So let's move on to the last one. My last bait is uh, the reason I picked. I picked it is because it's very versatile. You can rig it on a uh, jig head. You can rig it weedless. You can even nose hook it. My last bait choice is going to be a little swim bait. Now this is a color again in gizzard shad. I catch a lot of fish with it rigged with the jig head, the 3 8 ounce jig head, and I'll, I'll put my tip down and get it grinded on the bottom and largemouth to pick it up. But it's it's great paddle tail bait. It's by Big Bud Baits. I love this bait so much. I've put a lot of fish on it already this year as this water probably 69, 70 degrees. So this fall bite already started for me. It's, it's amazing already. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any baits you think I would like to try out for the fall or if you disagree with anything or let me know your top five baits for largemouth and smallmouth as well. Stay tuned for the next video.